<laughs> with OG and Anobi on the squad, man, it's just opened up everything for everybody. And I think for Tibbs, this is exactly what he wanted. You know, we always hear about the term Tibbs guy, Tibbs guy, Tibbs guy. And I know that OG's gotten a lot of comparison to Luol Deng, right? Just because they're from the UK, 3 and D, uh, yeah. very known, very well known for their defense. For Tibbs, you just see that through this past few four games, right? right? And I mentioned this on the other show. Through the past four games, the Knicks defensive rating is taking a jump. Um they are na- they have a 103.1 defensive rating. On the season, they have their 18th with 115th. So for them to take that type of jump with OG just being the only difference maker, right? You 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 lose two guys. Sure, you get yep. Precious here, but he's not playing a, a lot of minutes yet. He's not really uh, involved that heavily. Uh, Malachi Flynn, outside of garbage time, hasn't really gotten enough to really make an impact on this team yet either. OG's immediate impact on this team has just been transcendent, honestly, because the way that he's able to guard the toughest defender, right? That yeah. was given to Quentin Grimes, but OG, a better defender than Grimes, more switchable, more versatile. You see him, he can guard Cat. He can guard Anthony Edwards. He can guard DeRozan. It doesn't matter. He's able to guard one through four and on some nights fives. And I and I, when you see that, that gives everybody relief to just focus on what their role is, right? You yeah. don't have to ask Julius to go do something more than what he's capable of. Same thing with Brunson. And when you see that, that's when you get those 30-point performances from those guys in a game. And you're like, oh, these guys can now just focus on playing offense. Or if you look at Julius over the last couple of games, how he's attacking the passing lanes, yeah. the hustle plays that we haven't really seen from him uh, too often in years past. But now he's really taken up a, a step this season. And really, after OG has been added to this team, like he doesn't have to focus on saying, oh, you know, this is where I can't wait for a Bucks matchup where you see OG probably got guarding Giannis. And it's like, oh, Julius can then play a little bit more, you know, the passing lanes and yeah. can play uh, off ball on on the defensive side and see what his impact could be. But overall, with OG, man, it just has put everybody back into position and it's spaced not only the four offensively, but it's kind of relieved everybody else of their responsibilities on defense yeah. too. And, and thus far, the differential is stark, whether you're looking at – Added from statistically, or you're looking at the eye test, they're outscoring opponents by 40 points per 100 possessions when he's on the floor. <laughs> so, how's how's that for impact? And this is more from how's Tommy. that for data? <laughs> how's that? Take that for data, right? And here's Tommy Beer, our guy Tommy Beer on on OG's on all splits. He said, trade since trading for Obi in the 138 minutes, he's been off the floor. The Knicks have a defensive rating of 95 and a net rating of 29.6. In the 102 minutes he's been on the bench, the Knicks have a defensive rating of 127 and a net rating. Of minus eleven point eight. Wow. There you go. There you go. And and it just seems like maybe his because like you said, his his you know entrance into the team has you know allowed everybody to play their role. But you could also make the case, hey, maybe competitively these guys are looking at him like, yo, we got a dog in here. We can't slack. <laughs> right. We can't make him look bad. Right. So I, I think he's also elevated everybody else's game to like, yo, we got to step our game up. We got this guy for a reason. The front office made the decision. They've needed a wing in the worst way. They needed defensive versatility. They needed a stopper in today's NBA terms of a stopper. And, and I think that's brought everybody else along for the ride, man. Everybody's playing with a chip on their shoulder, and that's what you noticed this week as the team is trying to get it together. They're locked in still. Those are all facts, CP. And, look, I know you've played sports in the past uh, at the high school level. Like, I I played – like I told you, I played rugby in college. And, like, the one thing I know is that when you play with talented people, it raises your level of talent because you don't want to look like that weak link. You just don't. And so whether it's, like – whether it's uh, OG just being a dog on defense, like if they're seeing that, they're like, oh, well, if he's giving it all he's got because 
every single night he's got to guard somebody like Anthony Edwards. He's got to probably guard someone like Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's going to have to guard Jason Tatum, right? You can't be like, this guy's giving 110% and I get to take a day off. That You can't do that. So to your point, yeah. And, and probably like, Brunson, we know that's not that type of guy. We know the work that Julius puts in the offseason too. But just like, even though they work hard, that mindset of like, okay, now we really got to compete. And then when you start to see that work transpire in front of you where you're taking down the Timberwolves, where you're taking down the 76ers, then you go to Julius's comment where, you know, he was interviewed with, I think it was after the Sixers game. And he's like, we believe that we can take down any team. We believe we can keep up with anybody. And then yeah. when you start to see the results, you start to believe that. And then the confidence factor comes in. Right. And then when you're a confident team and you go compete against one of those top teams, like you're not going to back down, right? Yeah. Confidence plays so, such a big factor in sports, and, you, and like that's why you hear always someone say, "Shoot with confidence, play with confidence," right? And so yeah. if you're confident that, hey, my guy's going to do his job, I know I can do my job. You're going to go out there and start getting racking up some wins, like Jalen Brunson wants to do, and the next thing you know, this team looks like the way that it is. <laughs>